when you can't stop laughing, your stomach is hurting. That is the moments that I look forward to every single day. And I'm gonna tell you how I got there. The first thing that really helped me is I gained an accountability partner, which was my cousin. Before I gained an accountability partner, I took a lot of time by myself figuring out exactly who I am, what I wanted, started taking action on those things. One of the things that was very important on this journey to have an exciting life was my planner. My lovely cousin, she bought me a planner. I absolutely love it because it organizes my life. It makes me want to fill in all these little boxes with things for me to do. This planner has changed my entire life. As you can see, I would write myself little notes, self-affirmations, and it's so helpful. It helps me set goals for myself that I actually do want to go and check off. Grow through what you go through. I like that. And also reading, finding a really good book to read. This is one of my absolute best readers. I always tell people to get this book. It's a really deep book, but it helps me to balance myself and center myself. A better word is to align my energy. Um, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, if I'm having anxiety about something, this book is a book that is not something you just put down. This is a book that you pick up whenever you're feeling out of balance. You're like, hey, I wanna pick this book up so that I can realign myself and focus being in the now. That's what this book is about. Being in the present moment is the most peaceful and happiest place to be in your life. Pick up this book. It's, it's very deep, but very helpful. I started to create a meal prepping I find that cooking during the week was very stressful on me. So I started to meal prep throughout the week for me and my son. And oh my gosh, has it saved my life tremendously. Meal prepping is a lifesaver, okay? Ever since I started doing it, I'm just like, it has been amazing to my life. So meal prepping is one of the things that really helped me as well to make my life much easier. I find that I'm more happier not stressing over a stove. And then I incorporated consistent working out schedule and along with my eating, you know, cause I found that I wasn't eating as well. And then I started to lose weight. So incorporating that meal plan along with a good workout heightened my energy so that I can vibrate high. I started to really sit down and meditate and learn myself, learn exactly what my body is saying to me. Cause a lot of times we're moving so fast, we don't really realize that our body is telling us something. It was times that if I got a headache or if I'm feeling a little sick and not my, like myself, I'll listen to myself and I'll say, you know what, let me go lay down and take a rest because my body is telling me something. And then I started to notice it was a pattern, like when I would lay down and rest, I'm like, oh, my body needs rest. I'm overworking myself. Where you're putting your energy could burn your energy out as well. If I'm looking at social media, that's taking a lot of energy from me. So I cut down on social media a lot, looking at my phone a lot. When I'm overthinking anxiety or worrying about anything, I noticed that it took a lot of my energy. I begin to really just be still. Being still and listening to myself. I find that it's just so much happiness here. The more that I'm studying about inner peace, it's so important that you must love on yourself in order for you to spread love and give to others. When I begin to love on myself, that gives me an opportunity to be able to love on my loved ones and everyone around me. I find that I have to love on myself first. It's very important that you love on yourself first before you love on others, because if you don't love on yourself, you have no energy to give. And it's so important to me that I be around people that add to my energy because you can't have people around you that's just gonna suck the life 
out of you. While you're giving your energy, you need others to pour back into you. That's another important thing too. Turning on some good music. It definitely switches the mood, I notice. I'm just feeling so good, I can conquer the world. <laughs> How I really got to this place of true happiness is really just listening to myself. Being still and listening to myself has gotten me so far. Opened up creative doors. Creative doors that I didn't even know I had. I am definitely enjoying all of this. This journey that I'm on, I'm enjoying every single thing. It's allowing me to manifest everything that I want. This state of being that I'm in, it's helping me to believe in myself a lot more. Loving on yourself, taking the time out to pay attention to yourself and actually love on yourself. And when I say love on yourself, do things that you love. Soak in the tub, meditating, realigning my energy, and really taking that time to re charge that's very important finding something that helps you to recharge painting reading sketching comedy yoga anything that helps you to recharge and align your energy tremendously important when you're trying to live a happy fun life i learned about myself being in nature helps me to be creative as well. It creates a sense of peace for me. That's one of the things that I do to recharge. And you know, sometimes I'll just go to my cousin's house or be around my family or around my son and we're just cracking up laughing. Like one of the things that's really exciting about this is the stomach hurting laughs. <laughs> like when you can't stop laughing, your stomach is hurting, that is, that is the moments that I look forward to every single day. That's some of the things that I did to bring back that excitement to life again for me. And I hope some of those things were very helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and press like. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. If you would like for me to do any other videos, comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. I want to see you guys. See you next time.